We are outside of IKEA and uh, Christian's son at the fast charging location and today I will talk about how you can get the best speed out of Chadamo. So you see here we are now charging at the fast charger. This is a um, 50 kilowatt DC and uh, see I'll show you something here down out there. Wow well, Mr. Umina as you can see better. So you see it states here that this is 120 amp maximum and for some reason the CCS uh, can output 125 amp but, uh, but anyway so 120 20 amp is what it is rated for and then it says 500 volt uh, but we're not gonna get 500 volt but we get like uh, 400 or something at maximum so so if you remember that 120 amp max and as you see here we are charging now we get 116 amp, close to 120 amp, which is pretty good. Maybe if I switch off the heater, it. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that means that the heater took some uh, some energy. But you see, um, we are now getting um, 44 kilowatt. And earlier, when I started charging, I was only getting thir uh, 40 kilowatt. And the reason for that is that the voltage was lower. So you see, let me switch on the heater again. The voltage now is higher than before and the way Chadamo works is that it has a limitation of how many amps it can output unlike a supercharger because supercharger can output way more uh, amps but this one is like there's a cap there and then um, another thing you have to understand with the, the batteries is that um, when you are low here then the voltage will be low and then the higher you go the higher the voltage will be so that means that um, the higher state of charge you have, the higher voltage, and then the higher power you will get. Wow, it, it drops now, probably because of the heater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, you know, this depends, I mean, how, where the optimal speed for Chanamo for your car is depends on many different factors. For instance, you see, my, my car is a 90 pack. Uh, oh, yeah, that one. Oh, it's a lag. Come on. So the 90 pack usually has its peak around 70 percent here. That's when I get the best speed. Um, but uh, other packs, let's say, um, especially the the 75 packs, they have a lower nominal voltage. And what the heck does that mean? Well, it means that, for instance, if this was a 75 pack. At this state of charge, 47%, it wouldn't have 374 volt. It would be like maybe 330 volt. Uh, so that means, yes, the 75 pack charges slower at Chanmo uh, than this one, at least at this state of charge. But if you arrive with a 70 pack, a 75 or whatever pack, at higher state of charge, then yes, you will get better speed. So you just have to know your pack better. Uh, so in general, I would say that um, the, the 85, 90, and 100 packs, they have the, the best speed around, uh, uh, let's, let's say, 60 to 80%, roughly. Whereas the lower ones, like the 60 pack, or 75, or 70, they have the better speed around like 80% or something. And there are some exceptions, which is the, the software limited uh, 60 pack. That one has like the best speed from from 80% to close to 100% or 95% because it's it's not I mean it's not really a 60 pack it's a it's a 75 pack yeah so um what does this mean well it means that for instance if you want to drive a long distance and you know that you have to top up on the way then try to find uh, I mean you probably have to top up on the supercharger and then you leap Try to find a fast charger somewhere kind of close to the first to your your departure. Because if you top up very close to the end here, then you will have low voltage, and therefore you have lower speed. Uh, and the difference could be pretty significant. For instance, in my car uh, at the very low low end, how I will get like less than 40 kilowatt, whereas on the good end here I get 48 kilowatt. So. Uh, that's pretty big, yeah. If you just plan ahead, uh, then you can get the best speed. And of course, here in Norway, uh, you also pay for um, 
per minute, not per kilowatt hour. So you want to get, you know, the fastest speed and the, the most uh, kilowatt hour from the time you spend here. Yeah. All right. I hope this was useful for you. And <laughs> yeah, uh, if it was, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to understand for some people. But I mean, as soon as you know how the whole voltage stuff works, just try to just study these these numbers when you fast charge and then you will figure it out soon yeah so all right that's it for now then bye bye